T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0, and lift off. Okay, so this is a safe that I worked on a couple of weeks ago. Completely disassembled the lock, cleaned it, lubricated it, made sure it was working well. Reset the combination for the owner. He went to Florida, left uh, somebody in charge, didn't give them the combination, didn't think they needed it. Well, they thought they needed it, couldn't get in, so they called another locksmith company in town here and they opened it well as you can tell they did no damage to the dial itself or the dial ring but if you look here there's some pretty large repair area going on here and I'm gonna take and zoom this in here for you so that uh, you can see what's going on that looks to me like plugs and weld, plugs and weld. And they got kind of hard close to the uh, dial ring here, giving us some uh, marks on the dial ring. Lost some, some body putty up here. Kind of burned, burned down here. Okay. Still a little prideful here, so they didn't get it ground down too much. I guess when the owner finally found out, he had them had the employees retrieve the safe and uh, bring it over to my shop for me to take a look at and see if it's salvageable. So they told the uh, the employee that the lock was all busted up. And, of course, that's what they used as an excuse why it wouldn't work. Well, that's not true. It was working perfect. So, let's open her up here and see what we can do about fixing this. It's been dropped on the floor, you can see here, because it's full of gunk. Dropped on a workbench. Yeah. So on the inside we're seeing marks caused from welding. They didn't even take the back cover off before they started working on it. Alright, let's turn this, let's do a close-up of the hole in this thing. So if you look right there. There used to be a piece sticking out there called the lock bolt. That would be the locked position. And that lock bolt stuck out to this point here. It's actually a custom lock bolt. It's actually longer than a standard lock bolt. And I remember this one. It was actually the, the bolt itself was modified to fit this cutout here. I'll have pictures somewhere. So if you look down inside that hole, you can see the weld. And you also can see where they drilled. They drilled at an angle and basically ground off the lock bolt sticking out. This is a relock cable. If that relock cable were to release, it fires this piece here. So, there's a lot of damage here. The, um, 
The safe door is repairable. We'll uh, we'll fix that. Since they already started welding on it, we'll continue to to weld up the back part here and make it a little more solid. Um, and then the uh, the owner, if possible, would like this converted to electronic. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this electronic. We're going to come up with a new relock device holder. Keep that relock device from firing. And this this may take a while. So this is awful. That is not the way to open a safe. The proper way would have been to remove the dial on the front and use a quarter inch at the most of 5 sixteenths inch drill bit. A lot of times I use a 3 sixteenths or a quarter inch. You look through, you dial it open. Unless there's something major wrong with it, that's what you do. This is terrible. Terrible. 